Hi, I have a new video to share today. It's a spread in my art channel. And this video was recorded, I think, about a year ago. And I found it in my files and I thought this turned out really nice and so I want to share with you today. I start by adding some texture to my page. I didn't prime it first, but I do it after the texture paste is dry. I add a thin layer of gesso on top of the whole page. Now I go in with some brush holes and um, water bottle. I just spray water on top and sprinkle some brushes on it and I use a brush to spread the paint around. Now I add some stamping to my background. I use the Rubber Dance Round and Circle stamp set. I really like the stamp set for creating texture on the background. I use it together with Stazon inks because they are permanent and I can work on top with other wet mediums. I'm adding some gesso with a palette knife.
I missed to record this but I added some golden texture paste just with my fingers on some spots on the page. The butterfly is cut from a jelly printed deli paper and I adhere it with gel medium. I use some acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of water to add some splatters to my page. What I also missed on camera is when I drew some circles around the butterfly with the Imagine Crafts Pico Embellisher. I am using the Martha Stewart Crafts Multi-Surface Glitter on top of the butterfly just to add some more glamour. I am using Neo Color Crayons. To finish up the page, I, I think it needs a little bit more color. Um, what I love about the crayons is that when you work on gesso, you can wipe them away if you don't like the result.
I am using pasta pencils for some mark making. I printed the sentiment with my computer and adhere it to the page. Thank you for watching today. Bye!